What is up guys? It is Carly here bringing you your Tuesday review on Body Bags and today I'm going to be talking about a movie that I do not own but I did check out last night on Netflix just out of curiosity and that is All the Boys Love Mandy Lane from the year 2006. So yeah, the um, story with this one is um, quite literally like the title. You have this character Mandy Lane who's really attractive but she's kind of an outsider but all the boys are really attracted to her and kind of want to get with her. Um, like I said, she is an outsider, but the this popular crowd kind of takes a liking to her, mainly because she is just um, a really attractive girl and she kind of just fits in with this crowd for that reason alone. That's kind of how it is in high school. If you're hot, that's kind of how you become a popular character. So they decide to invite her on this trip to the countryside where they're all just going to kind of party and hang, hang out at this house and um, while they are there some of them start to get picked off one by one and that is kind of the story they're trying to figure out what's going on and how they're going to survive so yeah that is the story there um, and I'm just gonna say this because I don't know if you would really consider this a spoiler so don't listen on if you don't want to hear this but uh, you do find out really early on, which I, this is why I don't really think it's a spoiler, that um, Mandy's friend, who is a boy named Emmett, is the one doing the killings and kind of stalking them outside of the house throughout the movie, and um, you find that out right after he kills the first person. He's not wearing a mask or anything. You know right away that it is him, and I will say that I find his character... To character to be pretty lame and he is playing a lame character if we're being honest here so he does do a solid job I guess for the role he is playing because he's kind of just like the dorky best friend of Mandy who clearly also has a crush on her but um, I just found his character to not be overly that believable because um, sometimes you could get that to work where you have this sort of um, dorky nerdy dude who is doing killings and things like that but for his case it's really hard to believe that he would be a psychopath that's just kind of how I feel about it but so that's just kind of a negative right off the bat um when this movie started up I was really into it um it kind of opens up in the high school setting and um then there's this pool party and the whole time there's like this really cool song playing in the background which is and a positive that I do have for the movie is the soundtrack is really solid in my opinion. Um, it just has that perfect high school independent sort of vibe behind it that I really enjoy. It's all music that I would listen to in my free time. So um, really like that about it. And I felt like the songs really went with the scenes that were going on. So that is a definite, definite plus in a movie for me personally. Um, you know, the characters in general, uh, I did like the Mandy Lane character. She does pull off the sort of outcast character, even though she is a really pretty girl. Um, once again, that's something that is kind of hit or miss. Like, you don't always believe that someone's going to be that attractive and still be kind of a weirdo. But I think she does do a good job of pulling it off and being a little more reserved and looks like she doesn't really fit in with the group of characters that she is placed with. Um, the popular kids, I will say, some of them are pretty annoying, especially this one girl in particular who happens to be one of the ones who lasts throughout the entire movie, unfortunately. I did find her to be really annoying, and she is trying to be that annoying sort of bitchy character who's kind of insecure, but also thinks she's like hot at the same time. And um, once again, that's the character she's trying to play, but I just found her to be really annoying. You also have, like, a typical douchebag character who's this white guy, and um, he's does a pretty solid job. I really didn't find him to be annoying. He's just your typical despicable type of high school douchebag. So um, I think he did a pretty good job, and um, everyone else I was pretty much fine with. I also found the kills to be pretty solid. You don't really get many kills... Uh, scratch out, you do get a good amount of kills in this movie, um, but uh, to start off with, it, there's not too much going on, but the kills you do get um, are pretty solid and pretty unique and um, pretty brutal, I will say. Um, 
But yeah, I actually found them to be kind of unique in a way, so I did like that about it, and um, some of them did make me cringe and uh, want to look away, so I did think that was pretty solid. Um, the movie does have sort of, I guess you could say, a twist at the end or something that you're just not really expecting to happen necessarily. Um, I did find that I did kind of see it coming at one point, but... It, it's an okay little twist, I suppose. It's nothing mind-blowing or overly exciting or like, holy crap, I can't believe that happened, but it's okay. I, I guess it's it can be a little bit believable, um, but yeah, overall, this movie, I thought it was okay. Um, it wasn't boring or anything like that. It was just, I'm very lukewarm on it, I guess you can say, um, and... I don't really know how other people necessarily feel about this movie. I know people, I've heard people talk about this, but I don't really remember how they felt about it. But for me, it was just kind of, eh, uh, take it or leave it. It's probably not something that I would go back and rewatch. But for what it was, um, I would say check it out if you're into the sort of slasher movies and where they're kind of in the middle of nowhere. It almost re reminds me of, or I guess this movie would remind me of this Never mind. Uh, it makes me think of Friday the 13th remake, how they're in the cabin in the middle of nowhere, and then he's, like, outside and things like that. It's kind of, like, what the setting makes me think of, but, um, yeah. Uh, it's okay. I gave it a 6.5 out of 10. I feel like that's a pretty fair rating for a movie like this, so check it out if you want to, if you're into these type of movies. If not, I would say you can pass it up, but yeah. Thank you guys for joining me for this Tuesday review, and as always, I will see you next week.